Last night we just crossed into Minnesota and this is the damage from one night driving. All these mosquitoes. And I just washed the windshield. Mall of America and the land of RVs. There's one, there's one, there's ours, there's three others. It looks like Joey finally met his match because that one there is probably about 45 feet and has a boat behind it. We are in the Mall of America. The biggest mall in America. And we just hit the roller coaster. This is the roller coaster we just did because the whole way up to almost the ceiling and then indoor zip line. Now that's what I call a Lego set. I've never seen a lot of these rides before. Like I've never seen that at another amusement park. He's getting their seat. Here goes them about to take off at Mall of America. He's about to go flying. There she is! Here's the face of a happy camper. We are here at the world's biggest ball of twine. By one guy. It seems like we're kind of drawn to the world's largest ball of twines because when we were going through Kansas, we heard about the world's largest ball of twine and Cawker City. So we went a little bit out of our way, stopped to put some twine on the world's largest ball of twine, and our RV broke down. And now we are visiting the other world's biggest all the time, but this one's wrapped by one guy. He spent like multiple hours every day wrapping and wrapping and like wrapping. 40 years? Yeah. And this is what he created. It's pretty impressive and it's starting to rain, so it's a good thing that they have it enclosed. <laughs> this is the moment of truth. Will our RV start? Will our RV be able to drive away from the world's biggest ball of twine? With no issues. It's a tough one from uh, last time. It would definitely make a good story if it didn't, but cross my <laughs> fingers that it'll work. Good time, a good story. Let's hope for a good time. <laughs> Three, two, one. But this wasn't the problem, if you remember. The problem was that it started, but the air suspension had an issue, so that air brake wouldn't push in and let us drive. So this is actually the 3, 2, 1. 3, 2, 1. Woo! Did it work? We I'm going to start it. driving. Woo! Here's the thing. Like, we talk about the awesome things, like when we go hang gliding or when we're driving, like, a sports car or doing any of those, like, really out there crazy things. But like this, like right here, is like, you were driving in Minnesota, probably never going to drive on these roads again, and we're just listening to music, jamming out together, and these are the moments that like, we don't talk about, but like, are probably going to be some of the best moments to like, look back on and remember, like this was our trip, you know? And it's pretty awesome and getting to like just sit here and talk about like 
nothing at all with you, and then give out some music, and we have no clue where we're actually at, or what state that we're in, or what day it is, but we get to see this beautiful area, and beautiful countryside, and have fun together. Like the little moments all make up what the trip's all about. It's just being together and seeing parts of America that we'll never see again and we'll never forget these memories. We're here in Upper Minnesota, which is woods, and we're pulled over on the side of the road. And watching the sunset go down, it is amazing. But one thing that they were not joking about <laughs> is. is at sunset, their state bird definitely is the mosquito. Because <laughs> everywhere there's mosquitoes. Oh, there's one. But definitely a good price to pay. Well, not a good price to pay, but bad price to pay, but it, it's definitely worth the views that we're getting around here. Something really interesting about him is if you're a sympathetic deer, we could be driving for like four hours straight, and then all of a sudden I pull over, and I'm like, I gotta go to the bathroom. And I was like, me too! Hyde's <laughs> upset. I washed this thing like not even two hours ago. And it's completely covered. There's no point in washing this thing. <laughs> Duluth. 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 Duluth is on fire! Last night in celebration of 4th of July, we're here parked in a Walmart and a truck came by and threw a beer can and it hit RV, it was all wet right here, and there's a big puddle, and the can was right there. Today, it's moved over to there, but not cool. I'm running out of time, every day goes by so fast, and every moment counts, baby, I don't want to 